were originally based in a charity shop and we had the animals upstairs and it wasn't ideal. Then we found out that this clinic were coming up on the market so we thought we'd give it a shot and see where it went on. And we decided that it was such a good building that we didn't want to lose it. We actually put out an appeal that were in the newspapers, got more and more support as time's gone on. We've took in more and more animals. It's the best thing that we've ever done. We've done a lot of improvements. We've put in like new PVC doors and the windows and also added cat rooms for the cats so they can go outside and get outdoor access. We've actually had these cages made, basically so you can keep a check on each and every cat to see how they're doing really, you know, health-wise. They're all neutered, all microchipped, all vaccinated. The phone never stops going, there's always more that need to come in. As soon as you've reowned one, then there's more that need coming in. Lots of different characters, really. Uh, you've got Marmalade here, who gets really excited and I think it makes someone a really nice pet. It's just so loving and friendly and playful. We have, you know, quite a few volunteers here in the morning to help us out and get extra strokes and cuddles. We've got Mary who's got three legs there, the tighty that's just coming up here. The white tabbies are uh, Trini and Susanna. We have had them for the longest time now. I think the recession's made one hell of a difference, really. Uh, there's more and more people that can't afford their animals. There's a lot of people that are losing their houses and have to go to rented accommodation. So that seems to be, you know, like a massive problem really. Domino's got leukaemia, but the manager's actually going to take him on with him. So that's going to be really good for Domino. This is Arthur, everybody's favourite. Unfortunately, Arthur has uh, just been diagnosed with cancer. Uh, but the vets are really pleased with how he's going on and Arthur's particularly happy, he loves the people that come in, the volunteers. It's just so easy, you come and you, you know, you see all these cats needing homes and it's so easy to think, oh, you know, I'll give that one a home and I'll give that one a home. We're open every day between one and three, except Tuesdays. Then they can come and have a look around and everything. It's not just cats we have here, we've got dogs, rabbits, guinea pigs. I just love it. I, I think you get so much job satisfaction out of it. When, when you see sometimes, you know, the sad cases that come in and then you get them well and then they go on to find a new home, that's fantastic. And it's just such interesting work.